Hi, welcome to Cape Town Dive Centre. Today we're going to be looking at the question, why do you want to be a dive master? This is the first thing I ask someone when talking about the Paddy Dive Master course, and I've had a lot of different answers over the years. The most common and obvious answer is, I want to make a career out of diving. This has got a couple of different angles. First one being, I want to take a gap year, travel and work around the world. Diving is definitely well suited to this dream. There are dive centres all over the world who are looking for a fresh batch of dive masters and instructors to work with them over high season, but there are a few things to consider. Dive centres are more likely to employ instructors over dive masters. As useful as a good dive master is, most dive centres are more likely to employ an instructor as they are just more of a versatile employee. So definitely consider continuing your education and becoming an instructor. It's not that it's impossible to get a job as a dive master, but being an instructor opens up a lot more opportunities. Next thing to consider is experience. Experience counts for a lot in the diving industry. As a new dive master, the more valuable experience you can show, the better. Getting as involved as is impossible during your dive master course will naturally expose you to a lot of the experience and stay friends with your instructor and colleagues. References mean a lot. A big one is languages. One thing that stood out in my travels is that getting a job overseas is a hell of a lot easier if you can speak more than one language. German, French, Russian, Chinese, or Mandarin are some of the ones that spring to mind, but anything helps. Lastly, other skills. If languages aren't your thing, then stacking up on other skills is a must. Boat handling, compressor maintenance, gas blending, gear servicing, other scuba skills like free diving, tech diving, side mount, etc. Sales and management. Sales are an important thing. If dive centers didn't sell stuff like courses, trips, and gear, then they wouldn't exist. You could go on listing these other skills, but this would be the thing, kind of things I would encourage people to focus on. Next up, diving is my dream job and I want to make it my career. The dive master course will be your first step on this road, but you'll definitely want to go straight on and become an instructor and gain instructor specialty ratings, like being able to teach the deep diver course, the navigator diver course, these kinds of things. Maybe even building on some of these skills we just talked about. Also, think about your long-term goals, even if they change over time. Just look into them for your own knowledge. Do you want to own your own dive centre one day? Would you like a job working for Paddy? Do you want to be a trip leader on a liverboard? Whatever your goal, if diving is your career, you should always be growing yourself, always expanding on your skills, giving yourself something extra that you can work with. Next, I love diving and I want to share my passion with other people. I hear this one less in South Africa, but a lot in places like the UK, where there's a lot of local divers. Here, it's not about the money, but more about the enjoyment you get from teaching and sharing the things you love about diving. Your passion will naturally motivate people to get in the water, and that's something to treasure. If you want to be active in the diving scene, assisting with courses and guiding dives, that's fantastic. The value of a good dive master should never be underestimated, and it would be wonderful to see more dive masters assisting on more courses in general. Having a certified assistant on a course is just good practice. Next, I want to do the dive master course to increase my knowledge. Here, I would ask you what you want to know about diving. If you're after new challenges or to have a deeper knowledge of dive theory, dive mentality and dive gear, then I would actually steer you away from the dive master course, which is more around the paddy teaching system, how to supervise divers, how to grow divers and how to grow it as a career, and more towards becoming a tech diver. Technical diving doesn't have to be the diver with 100 cylinders going into the water looking like a Christmas tree but it does require a mindset and commitment that not everyone's ready for. But it is highly rewarding if you crave challenges and the course will massively grow your diving knowledge and diving mentality. My recommendation with tech diving is take it at your pace and try, don't try to rush or get drawn into dives that you're not ready for. It is challenging and it is risky, hence the commitment that not everyone's ready for. But it is great fun and full of challenges that you couldn't even imagine right now. Lastly, I want to go and work on ships and do underwater welding. I hear you sniggering at the back, but unless you are ignorance free, stop laughing. The Dive Master course is a recreational diving course. If you want to do commercial diving, that's another beast entirely. But there are some great schools and fantastic courses out there, especially in South Africa, that can help you with that kind of career choice. But the Dive Master course won't be the course for you. Some last things to think about. Wherever you do your Dive Master course, or any course really, Take some time to get to know your instructor or dive centre. After all, they're going to become your first diving colleagues. Be sure they want to grow you as much as you want to be grown. And don't lose touch with them. 
Networking is very important in the dive industry and it's small. We all know each other one way or the other. References and referrals are gold to new dive masters looking for their first dive job. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's answered a lot of questions. If you guys have got any more questions, feel free to message us, leave comments, whatever you need to. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, like, comment and share. We'll see you guys later.